WWE 2K Showcase mode has ran its course. This year's game saw us playing through the career of none other than Mr. John Cena. And while this might sound intriguing, believe me when I say, this mode sucks. This is coming from a person who loves a good 2K showcase too. This has nothing to do with the various historical inaccuracies present in this year's game mode. Honestly, those really don't bother me as much as it does for certain people. I'll be able to look past that as long as the showcase is actually a good one. And well, it's not. What the fuck is this piece of shit? The first glaring issue with the mode is that it feels so dead. In between sequences when it flips to real life footage back to gameplay, all you hear is a looping generic instrumental that keeps playing over and over that sounds like it's ripped from one of those royalty free music libraries online. Oh, oh shit, sorry, I fell asleep. But seriously though, I went back to play some other games from 2K to see if it's always been this dead, and then I remembered last year didn't have this issue because at least in Rey Mysterio's showcase, he's commentating over the match as it shows the real life sequence. In this game, it's just so brutal. It's almost jarring the first couple times you hear it because not only is there generic music playing in the background looping over and over, but they don't even have commentators saying anything during the matches as well. I found myself more often Often than not just flipping on a podcast while I play this mode as it started to feel like a chore that you needed to complete in order to unlock items that you wanted to have in the game. Lack of care. Honestly, it just feels like a lack of care and passion goes into this mode nowadays. It almost feels like throwaway content at this point. It becomes ever more prevalent when you go back and play the old showcase modes and see just how much passion went into everything. Between the cutscenes, Macho Man to the top, and Andre has stepped in to protect the million dollar man. Andre is asking Savage to jump. The commentary, everything. In 2K14's 30 Years of WrestleMania Showcase, which is by far my favorite rendition of the mode, they even took the time to animate promos. Yeah, that's right, animated Macho Man. Ooh, Hulk Hogan, yeah. You say you don't know where the Macho Man is coming from? Yeah, you're right. You don't know anything about the Macho Man Randy Savage and where I'm coming from. Not only that, but in previous iterations of Showcase, you'd get full entrances that tried to be accurate to the real life counterparts that appeared on TV. I urge you to go back and play through the Showcase modes in 2K15 and 2K16. It's things like this that make the mode feel like tons of love was put into the making of it. I truly do miss having historical entrances. It adds replay value, and it's always fun to compare the in-game stuff to what appeared on TV to see how accurate it really is. I just don't get what happened. How did such a beloved mode turn into such a generic grind fest that feels like it was shitted out like that turd you let loose today after eating that three day old burrito your mother warned you about? Laziness. What makes this game mode so lazy nowadays? Well, the cutscenes. When I first saw the gameplay to real life transitional cutscenes shown off in 2K22 for Rey Mysterio's showcase, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was impressed. But this feature has already ran its course and it's at the point where it's overstayed its welcome. It was never so obvious that this feature was added out of pure laziness. In the previous games, you'd have real historical moments for matches all animated with commentary to go along with it. I mean, for God's sake, we got the rock stealing the camera from the cameraman animated in game. Oh, now on our table, look out, King. I know, and Shane saying, Come on, Rock, get it back in the ring. But I don't think he needs it. Hey, wait, 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 camera, give it a camera. Yeah, Rock thinks he's a cameraman. Yeah, this is the Rock's cam. What do you think of that? Stone Cold Steve Austin, the biggest piece of trailer park trash walking. Stone Cold. You go directly to hell, and you take that with your compliments of the rock. For the millions and millions of the rock fans. Watch it now. Watch it. Oh, God, surprise. Stunner. Right on the table, the stunner. Take two. Cut. 
I lost my shit when I saw that because of how awesome it was. In 2K23, when a cutscene is initiated, it's animated for a split second, then jumps to real life footage, with no commentary, looping music playing, while you're pretty much half asleep. It's just such a cop out. It feels so low effort, and those sons of bitches can be playing for a long ass time. I honestly picked up my phone during some of them, and started browsing my apps out of boredom. Again, this reiterates my previous point, in that there was clearly no love put into this mode this year, and frankly the last couple years. Cutscenes should be the most exhilarating part of showcase mode, because that's where you can demonstrate the historical moments from WWE's past. That's also what makes showcase feel special. Now, I understand that WWE can no longer get some previous commentators that used to work for the company to do voiceover work on the cutscenes, but they could have got Michael Cole to fill in some lines to keep you engaged at the very least. It's exactly what they did during 2K15 showcase, and those sounded great with Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler filling in on commentary, even though sometimes it was not historically accurate. It gave the scenes life. The victory, and I think he's got it in that twisted, sick mind of his that he's gonna leave Batista to down the sledgehammer. Come on, oh, no! Come on, referee, get the hammer away from the game. This is too much outdated gameplay. The gameplay itself is outdated. It's such a chore because there's so many different objectives to do throughout a match that ultimately leaves you with no freedom of choice while playing. You end up stuck in what I like to call the 2k showcase gameplay loop, where you pretty much do one objective, wait for the next one to load, pause the game, look up the controls to how to perform a very specific move that we need to hit for some reason, complete the objective, and repeat that about 10 times per match every single match. It feels so so outdated even though these tedious match steps were only introduced last year in 2k22 showcase now look i understand that they were trying to be authentic to the real life match but was a random light combo really crucial to progressing the fight or was it just simply used as a gameplay padding to extend the match was roman's headlock punch really crucial to the match 2k and i know i'm not the only one who feels this way because i've peeked around youtube and reddit and there's countless posts stating how disappointed they are with the john cena showcase as it had so much potential to be great but no it, it's it's not fun this was the biggest chore the biggest just most tedious most annoying game mode i have played in a long long time not for real like this this was bad i hope i never have to play this again Keep in mind this gameplay loop is happening while there's constant looping generic garbage music with no commentary. I was so close to pulling the trigger so many times while playing this, but I needed that 09 Orton, which just so happened to be the last match of the showcase. Overall presentation. Just in general, the overall presentation of the mode has taken a hit down a tier compared to the previous years. In 2K23 and 22, we see our main characters John Cena and Rey Mysterio talking to the camera, talking about their upcoming match, and instead of Kind of breaking kayfabe a little bit and letting the viewers behind the curtain they kind of just talk about the match you're going to play and why the opponent is such a difficult one that's about it rob is an individual that showcased athletic ability. Now take a game like 2K15 for example, in which you have actual promotional packages between matches to explain not only the rivalry between who we will be playing off against, but to explain the story of what was going on at that time and to set the tone of the match. These will get you pumped up for a fight. John Cena goes one on one with our truth in a tables match. To bring about the change he so desperately desired, the best in the world set his sights on the champion. What the fuck doing out here? Even in 2K16, you get something similar in which it breaks down the current storyline in a way that they would if you were actually watching a real life pay per view before a fight to get you amped up for it. <laughs> Austin got vengeance and his Intercontinental Championship back until... The Rock is stealing the Intercontinental belt! It's well done and I think it's more effective than just having the cover star talking about the match with no real indication of the story that was going on at the time, with no hype towards the match other than opponent strong. A YouTuber by the name This Gen Gaming made a neat little video going over various differences between the modern showcase and the one we got in 2K14 comparing the WrestleMania 28 match between Cena and The Rock. Most things pointed out in the video are things I've already talked about already, but I would like to add that even the post-match content is all in-game and 
engine and not lazily switch to real life footage. Half the time you wouldn't even get to finish the match yourself in 2K23. It would just cut to the real life finish of the match. Not fun. In 2K14, they went as far as to animate Cena defeated and Bummy sitting on the entrance ramp in that iconic shot that most wrestling fans recognize. It's just a shame because this mode, like I said earlier, was a place you know so much love and passion was put into every minute detail as to what happened in real life. From the entrances, historical moments, promos. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Post-match occurrences, actual commentary. It was just done so much better in the older games. I've seen a couple people talking about this issue, but I'm curious as to what you feel about the mode. Am I in the vocal minority here? Yes, there's occasional Reddit posts about it, but I have still yet to see videos or anyone really calling them out on how lazy this game mode has gotten over the years, other than a select few creators. Will 2K be able to redeem themselves in 2K24? You know, next year does mark the 40th anniversary of WrestleMania, and what would be a better way to start the redemption tour than with a 40 years of WrestleMania mode? The fans would love it, just as they did with the 30 years of WrestleMania in 2K14. I urge you to get vocal about this issue because it's something that has been bothering the community for a decent amount of time now. Also, just wanted to say, yes, I'm still loving this game quite a lot. 2K23 is such a fun wrestling game in my opinion, and I can't get enough of it. The other modes have been keeping me busy, so I know that if 2K really locks in and steps it up for 2K24 showcase, I feel like we could have the best all-around wrestling game we've had in many, many years. So as always, this has been your boy RPG, saying peace out, A-Town down.